Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in today's video we're going to be doing another £2 coin hunt. Um, I keep always going to say 50p. Uh, we're going to be doing another £2 coin hunt. We've got £500 in sealed £2 coins. So the last video of the month I was able to get a sealed bag of £2. I mean all month I've been on bank bags. So yes, be really really good to get into some sealed bags again. But before we get to the album, just wanted to say don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. So let's have a quick look at the album and the two coins that we're missing. We are still missing Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland, and Scotland. And other than that, we have got absolutely everything else. So I'm really, really desperate to sort of get at least one of the Commonwealths ticked off. Um, but let's crack this bag open and see what we can find. So what we'll do is, is as normal, we'll do the first bag in real time and go through what we're looking for. So first off there, we have technologies. With the technologies, we're not looking to keep any of them as they're all quite highly minted and even the ones that are low minted are still quite common to find. But we do go straight into a Britannia. So with the Britannias, there's two years that were actually released into circulation. You've got 2015, which was about 750,000 minted and 2016, which had about 3.5 million minted. So what ones have we got? So 2016, so it's the high minted one, but still a really nice find. A nice one to sort of get us to kick off with actually. But that is the end of the first bag. So what we'll do now is we will speed up until we find something interesting. And there is another Britannia. So we have gone ages without finding Britannias. And then the well, last hunt we found two. We've now found two in this hunt so far. So have we got the 15 or the 16? It is the 15. So that is the lower mintage of the two. And I think it's about 750,000, give or take. But the annotations will show you the exact mintage figure. So, really, really nice find, and what an amazing start to the hunt. Next up, we have a rugby. So, the rugby was actually the first commemorative two pound, or biometallic two pound that was released. And what you will notice sometimes on the edge inscription, so it says Rugby World Cup, but you'll see there, so the 999 is quite clear that you, the one is there, it is just very, very faint. So some of these do have a weaker strike around the edge. Um, technically it is an error but it's not an uncommon error so it's not worth any more than face value Next up, we have a Golden Guinea. So we hadn't found these in so long, and then we've had now a string of them. I think the last three videos. I know that we've definitely found three over the course of this month. 
So, very, very nice. And we've got another absolutely brilliant coin. It is a Magna Carta. So, with these ones, there are actually uh, quite a few out there that will have uh, quite a large amount of sort of cut errors on the reverse of the coin. So, the way to tell is if you see, you've got the uh, man on the left and then the edge of the throne there will normally be sort of a bit of extra metal just there um, I've got a couple of them but um, yeah definitely sort of something to look out for And there is our first Shakespeare for the hunt. Uh, Shakespeare's histories. We've been finding absolutely loads of these recently. Obviously, we did find a full 500 pounds. A couple of, was it 500 or, yeah, 500 pounds a couple of months ago. All in sealed bags. But still, a nice find nonetheless. Next up, we've got an abolition of the slave trade. So with this one, there are two different reverses to look out for. You've got this one, which has got a textured finish. And then you've also got one with a smooth finish and a small little mint mark just down here below the seven. Um, if you find the one with a smooth finish, that was only intended for the mint packs. So that is definitely one that is worth a keep it, worth, the, worth keeping, sorry. And there is another golden guinea. So, absolutely brilliant. What a hunt this has been today so far. Next up, we have a Guy Fawkes or gunpowder plot. And with this one, it's just the same as the rugby coin. There is a slight error on, to be quite honest, most of the edge inscriptions on these. Um, try and see if I can see it. It's a bit grubby on the, the outer edge. So, there you go. So, at the moment, you can see it says, remember, remember, but this one, if you see, it says per member, um, and basically there's a, another weak strike on the outer edge. But to be quite honest, the per member error on this is so common, pretty much it's uh, a given that you will you will get a per member. So if you are looking to sort of get hold of one, don't pay any more than face value for it. got a DNA double helix a very very nice design one of my sort of top designs for the two pound coins very nice we 
And we've got our first Brunel for the hunt. And it is a Brunel's Achievements. So it depicts the arches at Paddington Station. Very nice. And there we go. Next up, we've got a steam locomotive. Another really, really nice design. And we've finished that bag off with a Florence Nightingale. And that looks like we have got a fake. So you see there the way the paint is up the the top there. Not a very convincing one at all because it isn't the right way up either. And yeah, not a very convincing fake at all. So I would definitely be adding that to the oddities box. And then we follow that up with a very, very real Charles Dickens. Very nice. got our second gunpowder plot for the hunt And there is our second DNA double helix for the hunt. And there is an absolutely cracking find as well. It is the Navy Centenary. So there have been a load more of these put into circulation recently. Um, I know Christopher Collect found a massive amount of Navy Centenaries and uh, bah, 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 Great Fire of London. <laughs> um, and I found, I've, I've been finding sort of quite a few. I've always been quite lucky with Navy Centenaries. Um, I've always found sort of a good amount of them. But I've also managed to find quite a few full flag errors recently as well. So, a very nice find. And speaking of the Great Fire of London, there we go. And by far my favourite £2 coin absolutely stunning design and the coin that I've got on my list for buying the bunk pack and the silver proof and I'm quite hoping I'm hoping to sort of get them both very very soon but obviously the silver proof is quite expensive but an absolutely stunning design and by far my favorite two pounds got another rugby very 
very nice. Oh, and another Charles Dickens. So, with that, we are on to our last bag. And what an absolutely stonking hunt we've had today. So many of the keepers. Just unbelievable. So, that is the end of the last bag. Now I've got to try and pick a star pull. Uh, do you know what? No. Yeah, I'm going to go for the double golden guineas. Very, very nice. But absolutely amazing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different designs of over face value coins and we've got one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> of the common commemoratives so as i say absolutely amazing hunt today i've really really enjoyed it also as i said at the beginning of the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when i upload new videos you can also follow me on facebook twitter and instagram links will be in the description down below and yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's hunt. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right, bye.